What's good everybody? We have got a bachelorette weekend ahead of us. The curls are about to take on Mexico for Amanda's bachelorette. If you know, you know, my sister is getting married this fall and the whole thing is gonna be a ball, especially this weekend. Since we'll be flying south into the humid tropical weather, I thought that we could get ready together and I could show you how I'm going to be prepping my hair. Not just that, but we'll get into packing, we'll get into what we're going to wear, what we're going to do on this bachelorette. The rest of the video will speak for itself, but we did wanna switch things up a little bit and for this video to make it a little extra special we want to do a product comparison because what better time than to test humidity fighting products than for where we're about to go now since we are going away I wanted to get testing some of the most popular humidity fighting products for curly hair to see how they hold up we're gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison so I will walk you through the routine and then you're gonna come flying to Mexico with us the girls are going away on vacation. We're chillaxing, relaxing, and hydrating. I truly mean dehydrating. Give me one margarita, I'm a oh, oh. Give me two margarita, I'm a Give me three margarita, I'm a no. Oh. Give me four margarita, I'm a I'm out. So without further ado, let's get into it. So just before I get into the styling, this curl right here has been drying. And what better time than to show you what the hair without any product in it will do. You can see that the hair looks fluffy, poofy. It is very much lacking shine as well as hold. See how that's kind of just losing its shape? What I can tell you is that because of my color history, I have colored my hair a little bit lighter, just a little bit lighter. And I can feel that the hair is just a little bit rough. If I actually run my fingers down my strands and then try to reverse, reverse, it almost feels like Velcro. The scales of my cuticle are lifted. I have what we call high porosity hair, which means the products that I am going to style my hair with before going into the tropics are super, super important. And these are some of the most popular products on the market. You may be familiar with them. We have the Color Wow Dream Coat. This is the one for curly hair. Color Wow is a brand I'm a big fan of. The ambassador is Chris Appleton. He's the hairstylist that works with Kim Kardashian a lot. They're a color safe brand that also offers extreme shine. That's kind of their thing. And they achieve this with a lot of sealing. That works by loading up their product with a lot of polymers, silicones and film forming ingredients like proteins to help create a protective outer layer over the hair that will help lock in shine and moisture and keep out humidity. This product specifically promises a lot of things and so I want to try it on just half of my hair. And then all over, I'm going to use the Weedad. This is the Advanced Climate Control Stronger Hold Anti-Humidity Gel. Stronger hold because the more humidity you're gonna be in, the stronger the hold, the better because it's just gonna last you that much longer. This is a beloved product and brand in the curly hair community. As it is from a curly hair brand, they call themselves the curl experts. They have been around for a very long time. And this product I know is used by a lot of my curly hair friends that are in the South where things are a little bit swampier, very moist, if we will. Yes, we will. I'm so sorry, but also not really. We're gonna see how this product alone will do in my hair on the one side. I've already shampooed and conditioned my hair with a gentle shampoo and conditioner because I know I'm about to be really rough on my hair. I'm probably gonna go swimming. I'm going to be in a lot of sun and it's gonna be hot. So we are going to prep the hair. I'm using the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. There's a lot of different primers that you can use. I specifically would advise that you reach for one that has heat and UV protection as well as frizz prevention and adds shine. And that's what this does while being at a very affordable price. And this is coming with me because look at the bottle. She's so mini. I'm going to apply this very liberally on my now damp hair. By the way, they do sell these minis on their website. And I will put links for you for all of the products that I am going to use throughout this video and everything that you see in the description box below. I'm going to brush it through. This is my Tangle Teaser Wet Detangler. She will absolutely be coming with me. And I will be both tangling and styling with this because I mean, I don't have a lot of room in my luggage. I'm already packing my Dyson blow dryer, a thousand bikinis, gains and decorations for the room. It just doesn't leave me with a lot more space for an extra brush. But if I was to bring another styling brush, I would bring the Denman brush with me. But we know, I mean, we as in anyone who has been watching me, that truly it's not just what tool you're using, but how you use it. So I know I can still get fantastic curl results with one brush. And so that's what I'm going to do. It's what I'm going to bring. 
We are now going to get splitting and I will probably loosen this up afterwards because not a big fan of the middle part. I don't want a lot of scalp showing this trip unless maybe I decide to do a style later on. And in that case, I will absolutely be putting sunscreen on my scalp, but I do want to um, use as much of my natural UV protection as possible, which would be just my hair as a little shade. So anyways, let us get into the spray. I think you have to give the product a shake. Maybe not, but I don't think it hurts to. And with these Color Wow Dream Coat products, you have to coat your hair more than you think. You're gonna think I'm dreaming, but really, in order to get the protection, you wanna spray the hair from root to tip. So I'm gonna go in small sections and do that to follow directions. That way we can get an accurate representation of how well this stuff will hold up. This is truly the test. We're testing to see how well this product will do versus how well the gel will do on its own. I think some of those sprays just went into the wind. Love that for me. And I'm not saying you have to use half the bottle, but I, I am serious when I say you should use quite a bit. And now my hair is nice and saturated. The next thing I'm going to do is apply gel on top and actually brush it through. Brushing through my gel in this case will give me extra hold. And again, when you are entering a high humidity climate, if you are from a dry area, you live in the desert, but you will be traveling, be prepared. Your hair is gonna want to absorb all of the moisture that's in the air. But in order to protect it from doing that, you layer on products very thoroughly to prevent that from happening. That's gonna prevent your hair from frizzing. It's gonna keep your style in its shape for much longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at this. Look at that clear, runny juiciness. I love a gel that looks like this. I find it super easy to distribute through the hair, which since that's what we are doing here, this is a great gel to do this with. I don't think, you know, in my experience, that all gels work well brushing through the hair. Some of them feel really sticky. Some of them are just too thick to work through the hair like this. But this right here, this is a dream. This is a dream. It feels nice and silky and I wanna work nice and quickly. So I'm gonna clip up half of my hair or not clip it, I'm just gonna flip it. And I'm going to do my ribbon curl technique with my vertical set. Sections, as you may have seen, unless you're new. And if you are new here, I do encourage you to see, well, I'll link my master document video in the comment section below because I mean, it's the one video, if you're gonna watch any video on my channel, if you wanna see all of my best tips and tricks for styling, everything's right there. So I'm gonna do this. Now you do wanna go for a more defined look as well. The volume will come. The volume will naturally come when you're in humidity because if you go for a volume look, you'll just have to do your hair far more often. Now I am going to define these pieces in front of my face with a little finger coiling. This is gonna be a great technique to help tuck away any frizzies and really just define the face frame. Since we are going to be celebrating, I do wanna show out with my curls. I want them to look their very best. So I am just popping in a little extra definition in the front here, the butterfly the root just to make sure that the root isn't sticky and I still get some volume there and then we'll scrunch and I know you hear that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna move on to the top. Now I'm basically gonna do this exact same styling I just did here on the other side using only this gel, which I'm not gonna show you again because that's just gonna get pretty boring. I'm a little nervous not to use a cream, not gonna lie. To finish off, I'm going in with just a little extra gel to glaze and scrunch over everything. And now the hair is ready to get diffusing. I will absolutely be using a blow dryer to finish off my hair both here and on vacation. If one, I ever want the hair to dry and two, I actually want this style to last me and not go to waste completely. Drying your hair before going into humidity is super, super important. And lucky for me, because I actually haven't used a cream my hair should dry very quickly. That doesn't mean my hair is not moisturized. I just put my moisturizing products and masked it up in the shower. For anyone that's curious, because I know everyone is curious, you nosy. I washed my hair with the Aveda Nutriplenis shampoo and then went straight into using a mask. I did the Eva NYC 10 in 1 Main Magic Shine Mask. Very nourishing, very moisturizing, helping to lock in that shine. Now I'm going to dry and come back hopefully looking divine. All right, so I do regret to inform that the hair is actually completely dry. <laughs> She's just feeling really crunchy. This look is a sacrifice I'm going to take today so that my hair lasts 
tomorrow when we go. You see, what we are seeing here is simply the cast from the gel. But not just that, if you look closely at my hair, you will actually notice that compared to how I usually style it on here, the curls look a lot more separated and stringy, not as clumped together. That is a result of one, not using a moisturizing cream as a leave-in, two, brushing through the gel as opposed to smoothing the gel over top of the curl clumps. And then three, because I am not going to scrunch this out. Now, if I were going to go ahead and finish the hair right now, totally could because the hair is dry. But again, I want this to last me a little bit longer. So, but in most cases, I would take a hair oil or serum and smooth it over my hair. And that will help to break up that cast and give it a more soft look again while also providing an extra layer of protection from humidity. So prep style and then finish with the serum and that's gonna give your hair the best of layers. Not just haircut layers, but layers of protection. And this very strong gel cast is giving my curls a layer of protection from extreme weather. They're gonna hold together. So I'm gonna keep this cast in place and go over to Amanda's place. So let's go see how she's packed. In honor of us going to Amanda's Bachelorette, I'm listening to Bridesmaid soundtrack. I know this pain. Why did you lock yourself up in these chains? Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye. Till then, baby. Are you gonna let it hold you down and make you cry? Let's see what she thinks of these crunchy ass curls. Ma'am. Let's see your hair. Oh, wow. Also looking nice and crunchy. Thanks. Let's get this shit done. This is the mother of all messes. I mean masterpieces. We have our work cut ahead of us. No. When I was shopping on Amazon for this trip, I came across these bags, but they were already personalized for like hair, skin, mama, baby. And I thought, oh my God, those are so cute. But I was like, I wasn't really vibing with what they had written on them because what if someone wants to use it for something other than hair? And they weren't that cheap. But then I found like packs of these on Amazon. They were plain and then just bought these little stickers so that I can customize them however I want. So I thought this was the perfect bag. So I'm gonna spell M-E-L-L. -L. Mel double L, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Amanda, I'm surprised that you didn't comment on my crunchy ass curls. Um, I know what you're doing and I'm doing the same thing. I'm not we breaking my cast until tomorrow. We are conserving the cast. Yep. So here's everything that we put inside the welcome gift bags for everyone. Starting off by personalizing each one with everyone's initials. And then hair care. We've got some Eva NYC shampoos and conditioners. Let's throw in a hydrolyte as well. And then we've got the therapy sessions hair mask, the 10 in one main magic primer that I use, as well as the queen silver glitter spray with the addition of a super cute hair clippy. For skincare, we gave everyone a makeup cleanser balm this one's from pharmacy this is definitely my favorite cleansing balm so i wanted all the girls to try it if they haven't yet as well as their apple lip smoothie this is such a great lip balm we also have some body care from sol de janeiro the sunglasses some sashes an itinerary and this was the finished bag we are making very sexy progress here very good sister a disaster but we're getting there any shampoo and conditioner please I'm not even gonna pack shampoo and conditioner. Like this is my, if I wash my hair, this is what I'm using. We're washing once, so. Yeah, washing once. Maybe twice. I mean, I washed my hair only once on a beach vacation. Is that was a week ago. You're not even sure? I think it is. Okay, so Mel, what do you want? I'm gonna give you a mask, glitter spray. I want it all. I want it. Throw oh, that you want it. I want you to throw all of this stuff in there. Oh yeah, I can fit too. Yeah. So okay. these unfortunately don't fit but we're just gonna give a separate bag. Listen, we are certified bag ladies and sure. everyone attending is yes. about to be a certified bag lady. Yeah. We've got bags on bags on bags on bags. And it's good, we like to compartmentalize things. It's fine. Totally. Well, that's it. We don't have to pack any body stuff anymore. We don't have to pack any hair stuff besides a gel or something. What's that? What else is here? Lip smoothie. This is so nice. No, it's amazing. It's actually amazing. And it's really tasty. Forget the Laneige sleeping mask. This is it. This is it. Did you see that? No, I'm serious. Mel gets the green clip. My entire palette is green. So I love that for me. This is our itinerary. How cute is it? It's very small print. It's very small, but it does the job. We're all young and I have decent eyesight. And also, everyone already has it on a PDF on their phones, but this is just- This yeah. is just because we felt like wasting paper. Yeah. Never mind. Mel's bag. I'm gonna send her home with this. I'm also gonna give Mel these little flower clips. 
I got them in like a pack of nine on Amazon. We don't call you a Amazon for nothing, but hello. We've done them. They all look stunning. I can only imagine the FOMO that you're experiencing right now, and I am so sorry. You know what? Actually, we have a lot left over. Let's do a giveaway. Stay tuned to the end of the video for instructions on how to enter the giveaway. Yeah, but we definitely want to personalize one of these bags for you guys, because I think that'd be really fun. I'm done here. I'm going to eat dinner. See you tomorrow. Bye. Now, Amanda thought I went home, but I actually went to pick up the rest of my Walmart order. Yo, I had to buy some nylons for a game. When did these become $10 each? What in the world? Yo, inflation is freaking crazy. I tell you, Walmart got all of my money today. And after all of our running around, this is how the hair is looking and feeling. She's super crispy. All right, now we've got some arts and crafts. I printed out 11 by 14 posters of Joe's face and we cut them out, reinforced them on little folders and then stuck a paint stir stick as the handle. Not sponsored by Benjamin Moore. These were so sturdy, they worked as perfect fans as well. The bride is here, the bride is here. Okay, we're good. Wait, 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 wait. we're missing someone. We're missing someone. Oh my God, it's hilarious. Right this way. Wave your Joe, wave your Joe. And then we were off. Don't tell me I'm the only one that travels with my hot sauce. I keep Cholula packets on lock and we keep our curls on lock on the flights as well. We styled before going, so we're gonna protect that by putting on our bonnets and locking in that moisture. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. All right, I'm gonna pass around a few cards. <laughs> Everyone's gonna write down several dares. And we'll take one, I think we'll put on a dare every, I don't know, maybe every 10 minutes or so. <laughs> I am the dare master. We spent the first day at the beach and the hair, I mean, considering the humidity, looked amazing on both sides, honestly. So far, the hold is surviving and here is my sister's hair. Also looking good, even though she used softer hold products. Oh, <laughs> come on in, look around. So cute. Look around everywhere. Wow, final fiesta. Oh my God, it looks so good. I love it. Meta, there's more. Oh my God, you went to the bathroom? That's hilarious. And we kicked off the first night with our first theme, Show Me Your Nudes. Everyone basically just wore a nude outfit. I love this theme because it's super cute and creative, but also super easy. On our second day, we just let the girls wear whatever they wanted because this was our first full day. We were still just exploring the resort and I wanted them to relax. It's hotter than hell, but I'm doing my best. I'm trying to stay in the shade, I'm trying to reapply my sunscreen, both my skin and my hair. This is a scalp and hair mist, even though my scalp's not showing. I still want to just a little bit, you can never be too protected. With their cocktails. I'm gonna brush my teeth with tequila. Mexico. <laughs> well, it's it's raining, so there goes these curls. You know, you can only make them last so long when you're on vacation. At the same time, you just want to live your best life. And maybe that means getting caught in the rain and drinking pina coladas. Although spicy margaritas is 100% drink of a trip. We're in Mexico, baby. So our second theme was in margs and matrimony. Basically, this theme was just a way to have fun with color. Everyone really enjoyed this theme and the pictures came out super cute. Alrighty, we are on day three or technically two and a half, depending on how technical you want to get. This is the hair. We were in a bun last night. Last night was an absolute play. And today I have to take it down and say, I think we can make it live another half a day. And the clip that matches this perfect, let's get it. Bride, what are you sporting? My hair, not doing well, <laughs> but- um, Today is wash day for both of us. I have this really cute part clipped in and I just put it up. It's really humid here. I mean, I don't think there's any saving it. No, actually I think we held up really well. Let us know if considering the above, our hair held up pretty damn well. I think it did. This is really cute right now. Like, okay, snap a pic. We gotta go take some more selfies. We'll see you in a bit. My friends, it is officially time. I am dying to wash my hair. It's wash day. And so, I mean, I'm at the pool. I wanna live my best life. I'm gonna dunk my head and here's what I'm gonna do first. We rinse. Now I'm gonna protect my hair by first putting in some conditioner. This is a hydro cream smoothing. So this is just gonna help to give me a little bit of slip for detangling and a little protecting. Maybe you don't wanna do this if it's your own pool. You know, I'm just gonna do what I have to do. I also brought a little comb with me. It's a bounce curl, it's a volume comb, but you know, it works. That's our bride over there, chilling. 
Now, if you don't have a comb with you, just use a fork, okay? Learn from the Little Mermaid and her not mistakes. Those were slays. Now that my conditioner is in, slightly detangled, I'm gonna put some UV protected. This is also gonna act as a barrier between my hair and the chlorinated water. Now, I really wanna do my best to try to keep this hair detangled, prevent it from entangling so I could either put it in a nice braid or even just make sure it's all together. I'm gonna twist it up. Hop in a clip. Now I'm safe to go slay the day. I can do some swimming. I can wet my hair and not feel bad about it later. Because what I'm gonna do is rinse my hair right after the pool and shampoo after. That's it. Arriba! Abajo! Acetro! Sexy movimento! Salud! Wow. Mm. Oh my god, so good. Chef's kiss. So naturally, as we are in Mexico, tonight is a final fiesta theme, and we have got some things planned for my sis. Everybody's gonna be dressed in the final fiesta fits. We're bringing the glitz, the glam, the fam, the feathers, the sparkle, the shine. Someone at the door, what the fuck? We got beach towels. As I was saying, tonight we're gonna set up a photo booth moment, and it's also wash day, so it's time I dig into my goodie bag to find my shampoo. We're keeping it gentle, cleansing, but nourishing. So I've got the Main Magic 10-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. Might need two, but also there's quite a bit that comes in this little sample. Then I'm gonna cleanse my body and soul with my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian foreplay. This body cleanser smells absolutely amazing because it's got the Chirosa 62. And then I'm gonna top my body off with the Brazilian Boom Boom body cream. And of course, I also got a Zoom Zoom, so. For the final fiesta, Mel styled my hair in this super cute high updo bun. It was sleek with the middle part. We posted a full tutorial of this on her YouTube shorts, so make sure to check it out there. And we just had so much fun this night. It was such a blast and everyone looked fabulous. They really brought all their glitz and glam for me and I couldn't have asked for a better night. For our last full day by the beach, I asked the girls to get wild and wear their tropical themed animal print inspired outfits. For a final activity, we did a kiss the miss. I had a bunch of lipstick. I let everyone choose their shade and they kissed the poster for Amanda, leaving her a final note as a remembrance of the trip. And for our final theme, we called it the funeral where we said goodbye to not only my last name, but also Mexico. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. If you want to win a personalized bag, leave a comment and a like, as well as subscribe to our newsletter on our website, and we will randomly be selecting five winners for the month of July. Plus, once you're subscribed to our newsletter, you're submitted into a monthly draw for more giveaways. Every so month. it a monthly draw. I had said. Thank, Thank you, you guys so much, so much, much for watching. You. <laughs> we love you. Bye. Bye. Peace. Let me remove this from my head top. Hello, hold on. Okay, all right, wonky, all right. Let's make this look cute for the intro. It's giving Superwoman in the best way. That's how I feel actually. This week, I just feel like with all of the things I'm doing, I must have powers. We're gonna get right into things. Okay, hold on, I don't want this on me. I wanna show off the robe. <laughs> okay, hold on, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. No, but take a look at this robe. Okay, I'm gonna remove this because I feel like it's distracting and I want you to appreciate this robe. I already know you're gonna ask where it's from. I wear a lot of waffle robes and most of them are from Amazon, linked on my storefront, but this one is from Pattern Beauty. They sent it over in a PR package. The detail, the shoulder pads that are removable and the way that it fits my body, it actually wraps around. I am obsessed with this. I digress. As you can see, we are still mic testing. Let us know how the past few videos have been sounding. I'm getting used to it. I just have to know, I just, I have to be aware that when I'm talking down here, if I'm styling, I'm literally whispering right into the mic. And so that's gonna sound weird. And then if it accidentally presses against my skin, this is how it sounds. Still getting used to it. Thank you so much. I'm sweating, sweating, shit.